Ciao! Hi, my name is Cecilia and I'm a professional sommelier. I started to do this video a um, few weeks ago. But I would like to tell you something about myself before tasting some wine together. So I'm a sommelier, but what is a sommelier? A person who knows everything about wine? No, I don't think so. I gained my diploma more than 10 years ago and I was so lucky that I found a great job in one of the most prestigious wine shop of Venice where I learned more. Basically because I think that a sommelier is a person who needs to be very curious and who wants to learn and read, learn and read more and more. So I usually define myself much more like an emotional sommelier because I realize I love to focus my attention on the emotions that a wine takes and what a wine tells me more than the technical aspect about wines. So I think that this is my personal uh, point of view. I know it's very subjective, but I think that wine and food as well uh, can bring people together and it's a good way for sharing culture. Okay, after this, today I would like to tell you something about Valpolicella Ripasso. You probably heard of Valpolicella before, and it's a wine that comes from the city of Verona in the Veneto region, where there's a sort of special climate because there's the influence of Lake Garda, then there is the river Adige, and there are mountains up in the north. So, Val Policella has a special meaning. This is a curiosity because Val Policella means the valley of many cellars. So it means that the tradition of making wine in this area started many centuries ago. This is a blend of local grapes, Corvina, Rondinella and Molinara. Three grapes uh, very connected to this area. There are no other areas in Italy where you can find these grapes. So Corvina is very dark in color, uh, with a good uh, sour cherry flavor. Um, Rondinella probably comes from Rondine, swallow, because the color of the grape. And it's good for the floral part. Then Molinara probably comes from the Italian term Molino, that can be translated into old meal because bunches are covered with a um, white flower that reminds a meal. Okay, so the percentage of these grapes are uh, a decision of the winemaker who sometimes want to tell you exactly the quantity but sometimes can be a secret of the recipe. Okay, now we are having a 2016 from Bixio uh, that is a small winemaker from the best area of Valpolicella. Uh, what's the meaning of ripasso? Ripasso literally means repast, because at the end of the fermentation, the Valpolicella can be bottled as the Valpolicella easier version, or they can put inside the pomas of Amarone, that is the top quality red wine from the same region, produced with the same grapes, but with another very long technique and a drying technique as well. And so another fermentation slowly starts again. So this means that the Valpolicella will find more character, will be richer from a flavor point of view, but also from an alcoholic point of view. So it's like to say that we can imagine a sort of pyramid where the easier Valpolicella is the Valpolicella Classico. Then there is the Amarone, the OCG, at the top of the pyramid. But in the between there is the Ripasso, that is a great uh, compromise between these two versions. So it's mm, floral and not extremely heavy and in my mouth it reminds me uh, plants, black pepper and probably also some leather notes, okay? It's perfect for being paired with the local salami we have called the Sobressa for example with some mustard, hot brand, 
Okay, I don't want to make you angry. Now, I have a surprise for you. Okay, I would like to tell you something also about Corvina, that is one of the three grapes they use for making Valpolicella. This is 100% Corvina. Corvina probably comes from the term Corvo, that can be translated into raven, so very deep in color. Also because bunches are, have a very thick skin, so extremely, extremely uh, strong from this point of view. Um, I paired this Corvina with an onion soup and it was wonderful, delicate and great. The difference between these two wines is that, in my opinion, this is more fragrant. This is um, lightly bitter, so like an almond as aftertaste. Um, probably here I can taste some more flowers like violet and here more leather, so something more Mm, deep, yes, deep. I think this is the right term. So, I wish you a fantastic day and uh, thank you for being here with me. Stay strong, stay at home, and drink wine. Ciao!